Hi everyone. Some tops presents. No matter what generation the world comes to, each gender will always have its separate list of pros and cons. It's an unalterable fact. When it comes to men particularly, there's a lot that women simply don't get. And let's be honest, men aren't the best at explaining how they feel or why they do a certain thing. They don't have the mental capacity of a woman, not to say that they're any less, but that they're just built that way. It's not entirely impossible either to crack the ways of men. Here are things men wish women realized. One of the most stereotypical things that women still believe about men is that they don't cry. Sure, little boys will cry and only a deeply anguished man will cry in a film, but women sometimes still believe that men don't cry. Time to adjust your thinking because they sure do. Movies portray men as rock hard, strong people who have no emotional outbursts and only cry when it, it is absolutely necessary. How many times has a man ran after his wife's killer in films rather than take a moment to cry? Some men will be very emotional and can take things very personally. Be sensitive to your guy because he has emotions just like you. It is also important that if your guy does cry that you comfort him and not make fun of him. He may not show his tears as often as you, but know that those feelings are still in there. Men like to cuddle. It is often assumed that because they are rough and tough, they don't like to get under a blanket and snuggle up next to you. The truth is that cuddling is something that is built into us. As children, we ran to our parents for love and physical affection and would cuddle to feel that love. We never seem to outgrow it, and that includes men. The other thing women think is that men are using cuddling to get to other things. That may be the case sometimes, but just because he snuggles up with you doesn't mean he is trying to get straight to the deed every time. Don't let the stereotype of men wanting physical satisfaction cloud your judgment. Men love to cuddle, and sometimes that's all there is to it. Enjoy your cuddles when they are offered to you because sometimes those can be the most enjoyable moments. When trying to get the guy, sometimes women use the tactic of playing hard to get. They evade him flirtatiously, get guys to ask them out but then remember they are busy, or any other schemes to make them chase them. Playing hard to get can be fun for both sides, but it is important to know when to stop. There has to be a point when he finally gets you and the scheming stops. Women sometimes don't realize that men can enjoy playing hard to get at the beginning. But most times it can just be annoying and exhausting if it goes on too long. Think of the amount of energy he is using to try and get you. You are draining him emotionally, being turned down all the time hits his ego, physically, running after you, and mentally, his brain hurts from trying to figure you out. Know when playing hard to get is good and when it is time to give him a break. One method that has been used to get and keep a guy is to make him jealous. You let him know you are mad at him or are on high demand by flirting with someone else. You think it is shameless flirting, totally safe, but what you don't realize is that using jealousy to get the guy is not a good approach. What women don't realize about men is that they don't like it when you try to make them jealous. Many women think that it makes them look hot by letting their guys know that others want them. But the truth is that it isn't hot, it's rude. Would you want your man flirting with someone just to show you how good you have got it? No. Trying to make a guy jealous is just making him feel used, underappreciated, and hurt. Don't ruin your relationship by trying to make him jealous. Women don't realize just how much guys hate it. It happens all the time. You come home from an awful day at work and you begin to tell your man all about your problems. Once you are finished, he begins to offer solutions by saying things like, well maybe you should do this instead. Or is it really her fault? Your blood begins to boil because you can't understand why he can't just listen. Something most women don't realize is that men have a tendency to offer solutions to fix the problem because that is just how they are built. They don't understand that we just want to rant and have them feel sorry for us. Men are problem solvers. They want to help you and that means they will try to fix your problem. 
don't freak out at him the next time he offers a solution, but instead just kindly ask him to listen and sympathize with you and not offer an answer. Listen. It is the stereotypical joke that men can't multitask, but the reality is that this is the truth. It doesn't mean that men can't run and talk at the same time. It just means that they are not able to jump from topic to topic like women can. Women's thoughts can move a mile a minute, they will be thinking of making dinner, suddenly remembering that funny thing on TV last night, then remembering that you didn't put your garbage bin outside. Men can multitask, but when it comes to conversations, they think in topics. They don't have the same ability to jump from one idea to the next like women do. They like to compartmentalize their thinking and move carefully from one topic to the next. Think of it as if men have a bunch of rooms in their minds and can only be in one room at a time. Men may act like they don't care about things. They may act like nothing can hurt them and that sticks and stones may break their bones but words will never hurt them. The truth is that guys can be self-conscious too. He has a zit on his forehead and deep down he is dying of embarrassment, but on the outside he is making a joke of it. Don't be the one falling into the trap of thinking that he doesn't care and making fun of him, however harmless it may be. Men may put up barriers using different methods, humor, avoidance, etc., to deal with their self-consciousness. Encourage your man and let him know that even though he is feeling like he looks fat, he is appreciated 100% by you. Be the girl who sees past his defenses and understands him truly. Don't be one of those women who doesn't realize that men can be self-conscious too. Women seem to believe that they are the only ones who should get the majority of the attention in relationship. They want to be stared at, fretted over, and have all of the attention to themselves. The truth is that men actually like attention too. Sure, they may be all tough on the outside, but they are human and still like to be told they look good and have your undivided attention once in a while. Have you ever heard of a man cold? This is a great example of just how much men love attention. Something about them being sick, amplifies their need for attention and extra love and coddling. Give your guy the attention and love he needs and take care of him when he is sick and give him your full attention more often. It is human nature, not just women nature, to like the feeling of being the center of attention. Women love to romanticize. Sometimes you may imagine that your man sits at work staring at your picture just wondering when he will get to gaze into your eyes next. When you are watching that movie and the love scene comes on, he must be thinking of you. So you decide to ask him what he is thinking about and his reply is nothing. Take a deep breath because what most women don't realize about men is that they sometimes are honestly not thinking about anything. It is similar to the ability of multitasking. Women can think of a new thing every second, whereas men are able to think about one thing at a time. Men are focused on the task or item in front of them and may just let their thoughts stop. So the next time you ask him what he is thinking about, it might really be nothing. Everyone loves to be complimented. There is nothing better than knowing someone else likes what you are doing and how you look. It makes us feel appreciated, loved, and beautiful. Women love compliments and will go out of their way to get one. Do their hair really nice, buy new clothes, or do their makeup differently. What women don't realize is that men like compliments as well. It is often forgotten that being appreciated is a human desire, and men fall into that category. Guys shouldn't be the only ones to be doing the complimenting. They should also be receiving compliments. Let your guy know that his hair looks sexy today, that his arms look buff in that shirt, or that he is always so loyal and kind. Tell him what you like about him by complimenting him and you may be surprised to find your relationship getting stronger. Affection through words is a great way to boost someone's morale.